ExpressJet Airlines, Inc. is an American airline based in College Park, Georgia. It was a wholly owned subsidiary of SkyWest, Inc., parent company of the air carrier SkyWest Airlines until December 18, 2018, when it was sold to Manair, LLC for $70 million and the assumption of all debts. Before the acquisition by SkyWest it was an independent airline, and previously, a subsidiary of Continental Airlines. ExpressJet Airlines, Inc., originally Continental Express, Inc., was a Delaware corporation, although an autonomous business entity since its divestiture from Continental Airlines, Inc. in 2002, it continued to operate as Continental Express for Continental Airlines from hubs at George Bush Intercontinental Airport, Houston, Newark Liberty International Airport, Newark, New Jersey, and Cleveland Hopkins International Airport, Cleveland, Ohio. Its training center is on the grounds of George Bush Intercontinental Airport in Houston. In August 2010, SkyWest Inc. agreed to merge with ExpressJet Holdings, whereby SkyWest Inc.'s wholly owned subsidiary, Atlantic Southeast Airlines, would purchase ExpressJet for $6.75 per share. Atlantic Southeast Airlines and ExpressJet became the world's largest regional airline on November 12, 2010, once the purchase was final. On November 22, 2011, both ExpressJet and Atlantic Southeast Airlines achieved a single operating certificate that allowed them to operate as one carrier, using Atlantic Southeast's former call sign, AC. Effective December 31, 2011, all flights began operating under the name ExpressJet. ExpressJet currently operates as United Express. Topic. History The airline was established in 1986 and started operations in 1987. Its origins were in a group of small commuter airlines acquired by Texas Air Corporation, Continental Airlines. These included Bar Harbor Airlines in Maine, Provincetown Boston Airlines in New England, Rocky Mountain Airways in Denver, Colorado, and Brit Airways in Terre Haute, Indiana. ExpressJet operates under the original Federal Aviation Administration Part 121 certificate issued to Brit, which began operations as Continental Express in April 1987 and was later acquired by Continental Airlines. ExpressJet Airlines, Inc. Incorporated in 1996, ExpressJet was spun off from Continental in 2002. Afterwards the company began plans to move into a corporate headquarters location. ExpressJet has over 8,000 employees. ExpressJet Holdings also owns American Composites LLC, Saltillo Jet Center, and Intech Aerospace Services. Together with other facilities throughout the U.S. they make up ExpressJet Services which provides third-party maintenance, repair and overhaul services for a variety of aircraft types. ExpressJet Holdings also has non-controlling interests in Wings Holdings LLC 49% and Flight Services and Systems Inc. 44%. Before ExpressJet became independent, it was headquartered in Continental Center I in downtown Houston. Following a December 2005 decision by Continental to reduce ExpressJet's Continental Express flying by 69 aircraft, the airline elected to operate the aircraft independently. On December 31, 2006, the airline began its charter operation. It currently operates six aircraft for charter services under the Corporate Aviation Division. On February 5, 2007, the airline announced service to 24 cities in the West Coast, Southwest, and Midwest regions of the United States beginning in April 2007. On April 2, 2007, the airline began point-to-point -point services under its own name from locations throughout the U.S. The airline had a total of 42 aircraft in their branded operation. According to ExpressJet CEO James Ream, L.A., Ontario International Airport in Ontario, California alternate airport to nearby Los Angeles International Airport would become the airline's biggest center of operation. 
In March 2007, ExpressJet operated four of its Embraer 145 jets on JetBlue routes while JetBlue's Embraer 190 jets were being serviced. In June 2007, the airline began service at Los Angeles International Airport to Western ski markets in Mexico on behalf of Delta Airlines under the Delta Connection banner using 10 EMB 145XR aircraft. In July 2007, the agreement was increased to 18 aircraft. In July 2008, the agreement was terminated and ExpressJet ended all Delta connection flying by September 1. A few days after announcing the end of its agreement with Delta, ExpressJet announced on July 8, 2008, that it would also end its independent ExpressJet branded flying on September 2 due to the oil price increases since 2003. This resulted in the furlough of 347 pilots. In September 2007, the airline agreed to provide feeder service for Frontier Airlines from Denver International Airport while federal certification for Frontier's Lynx Aviation Turboprop subsidiary was underway. ExpressJet flew to five cities from Frontier's Denver hub using 50-seat ERJ-145 regional jets until Frontier's subsidiary, Lynx Aviation, received DOT approval in December 2007. As of December 7, ExpressJet discontinued providing feeder service for Frontier Airlines. On August 21, 2009, an incident occurred where passengers were forced to stay on a parked plane at Rochester, Minnesota for six hours with no food and overflowing toilets. The airline crew tried over 30 times to call the contract carrier, Delta Connection, which services the Rochester airport, to let the passengers off. The agents for the regional Mesaba Airlines refused. The Department of Transportation cited the main cause of the incident as the Mesaba Airlines station's refusal to park the aircraft. However, Continental Airlines and ExpressJet were also fined for the part they played in the incident. ExpressJet began a temporary contract with United Airlines to fly as a United Express carrier beginning in June 2009. The contract was for approximately 10 aircraft that operated out of United's O'Hare and Washington, Dulles, hub. The aircraft were flown in ExpressJet livery. The contract ended on September 2, 2009. In late 2010 ExpressJet signed a multiple-year contract with United Airlines for 22 ERJ-145 aircraft. The aircraft were flown, for the first time, in full United Express colors. Additionally, 10 more ERJ-145s, in ExpressJet colors, operated for United during the peak summer travel season in 2010. The first flights under this new contract started December 1, 2009 and all 22 aircraft were in United Express service by spring 2010. In May 2010, ExpressJet began operating Branson Air Express, non-stop air service between Branson, Missouri and Houston, Texas, Austin, Texas, Nashville, Tennessee, Des Moines, Iowa, Shreveport, Louisiana and Terre Haute, Indiana, Chicago Midway and Indianapolis. ExpressJet last flight operating under Branson Air Express was on October 30, 2010. ExpressJet operated its own point-to-point -point service with its main hub at LA, Ontario International Airport in Ontario, California. This service ended on September 2, 2008. In April 2008, SkyWest, Inc. proposed an acquisition of ExpressJet at a price of $3.50 per share. ExpressJet Holdings Inc. said its special committee unanimously rejected the proposal. SkyWest rescinded the offer in early June after ExpressJet Holdings and Continental signed a new seven-year capacity purchase agreement. This proposal was ultimately not successful. On November 12, 2010, the financial transaction between Atlantic Southeast Airlines, a subsidiary of SkyWest, Inc., and ExpressJet was closed. Thus as a legal entity the original legacy ExpressJet Airlines effectively ceased to exist. Atlantic Southeast Airlines continued to operate ExpressJet during that time under the terms of their then-current operating certificate with the FAA as 
Express Jet Airlines, while a new name for the recently merged companies was being considered. In October 2011, the employees of ExpressJet and Atlantic Southeast Airlines voted to keep the name ExpressJet as the combined airline's new name, while Atlantic Southeast's AC callsign would remain. In October 2013, ExpressJet opened a new crew domicile in Kansas City, Missouri, at Kansas City International Airport. ExpressJet also opened a crew domicile in Denver, at Denver International Airport. In August 2017, Delta Airlines terminated the contract with ExpressJet which took effect in late 2018, transferred their CRJ-900 financed aircraft to Endeavor Air. American Airlines terminated their contract with ExpressJet in May 2018. As a result, ExpressJet ceased to operate American Eagle flights as of 2019. ExpressJet currently has crew bases in Chicago O'Hare, Cleveland, Houston Intercontinental, Knoxville, and Newark. There are maintenance bases in Baton Rouge, Chicago O'Hare, Cleveland, Houston Intercontinental, Knoxville, Newark, and Richmond. Topic. Destinations ExpressJet, as an independent carrier, flew to 20 destinations throughout the United States until the airline suspended independent flying on September 2, 2008. Topic. Fleet As of May 2019, the ExpressJet fleet consists of the following aircraft. Prior to the merger with Atlantic Southeast Airlines, ExpressJet solely operated the Embraer ERJ-135-145 aircraft in its fleet. As part of the agreement to begin service as an American Eagle affiliate, ExpressJet transferred 11 Bombardier CRJ-200ER aircraft from Delta Connection and United Express to American Eagle at the end of the first quarter of 2013. Topic. Corporate headquarters ExpressJet has its headquarters in College Park, Georgia, in Greater Atlanta, in the A-Tech Center, a hangar at Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport. That facility previously housed the headquarters of Atlantic Southeast Airlines before SkyWest acquired and merged ExpressJet with Atlantic Southeast Airlines. ExpressJet previously had its headquarters in the North Belt Office Center IV, a building in the Greens Crossing Office Park, a 484-acre, 1.96 square kilometers mixed-use office park. The office park is in the Greenspoint area of Houston. ExpressJet was one of three tenants that leased space in the two-building, 107,200-square-foot North Belt Office Center complex, which includes Buildings 3 and IV. Fort Properties manages both buildings. ExpressJet uses the location due to the proximity to George Bush Intercontinental Airport and to Continental Center I, the Continental Airlines headquarters in downtown Houston. ExpressJet had relocated its headquarters to its final Houston location by 2006. Fort had acquired the buildings in 2007, which were built in 2003. Topic. Accidents and incidents On May 1, 2013, Scandinavian Airlines Flight 908, an A330 that was readied for takeoff at Newark, clipped an ExpressJet Embraer E145 aircraft, operating as United Express Flight 4226. 